Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Scrotitis Plays Agrarian Skies. How you guys doing? <laughs> we have some mob spawning issues. I need to do some uh, reevaluating of how I have this place lit up. But uh, that's not for us to concern with today. Uh, we've got a good episode coming at you. Lots to get done. We're going to do a couple quests and move this uh, this progression right along. So let's jump right in and see if we can get to completing a quest that we started last episode uh, in Hell's Kitchen with uh, the Vegan Delight, okay? Uh, what this is is basically creating um, tofu and soy milk out of soybeans, okay? And we need so many of each, 200 of each. Uh, you may have seen, saw that we have some. I finally got soybeans thanks to one of my uh, most faithful watchers, viewers, subscribers. Thank you very much. Um, basically, what I was just doing there, smash, smashing long grass for seeds, is how you get soybeans. Um, unfortunately, it took me forever to actually get a soybean. I actually rigged up this uh, little situation here. I made a new autonomous activator with the redstone lever on top. Give it a, a whirl, see? And it uh, starts spamming bone meal at the ground. Uh, now, I didn't do it this way. What I actually used is the sickle that I got as a quest reward. Um, that then broke up the items, which allowed them to be passed into the vacuum hopper, which, uh, through the use of a P pneumatic... Uh, what are those things called? I, um, one of these things. <laughs> I can't think of what they're called. Um, the, the items passed from the uh, vacuum hopper down over to these three chests. And let me show you everything that we got. <sighs> this chest. This chest. And this chest. Now, I've since organized it. It didn't place them this neatly into the chest. but uh, And out of all of that, we got... Two. We got this soybean, and we got this one, which seems to have disappeared. I had one planted right here. I don't know what happened to it. So now we have one soybean left, one soybean scene. But the nice thing is that we were able to bone meal it, and we got 64 soybeans out of it. So with this quest in mind, we go to our presser, which we made earlier in our Hell's Kitchen quest line. Place the soybeans in the top. And we allow that thing to work. That is going to give us soy milk. I believe, yeah. Soy milk and silken tofu. A one-for-one -one ratio, okay? Uh, what we need to wait for is for... Uh, actually, what we're going to need is 200 of these because it's a one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one ratio. We need 200 of the uh, firm tofu, which basically you repress the silken, and we need 200 of the soy milk. So uh, let's actually see how quickly we can get that... that is uh, a good challenge for us. Here's our last remaining soybean. And we've got uh, one of these. Yeah, we got this guy, which we used earlier. And, oh, we got a couple more silk in there and some soy milk there as well. Um, why can't I find it? What am I looking for? Bone meal. Uh, down in our system, actually, we've got a boatload of bone meal. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. That should do the trick, right? Well, actually, we only need, yeah, you need double, I think. That should get us close. Let's, uh, you know what, let's just go at it right here. Plunk it down, put it in, and bone meal me. <laughs> Oops, wait a second. That's not the way that's supposed to, oh, oh, mm. You know what? Let's go down here. <laughs> there we go. All right. Bone meal. Soybeans. There we go. There we go. All right, guys. Take it away. Alright guys, well I just made a major boo-boo and forgot to hit the record button after I was done with the um, 
the soybeans over there. I went downstairs and we actually finished. Oops, <laughs> finished this quest. Feel my power. We crafted this. Um, I had the steps and the stages all laid out. We went through it, um, and I turned it in. These are the rewards. It's proof that, that I did it. Um, I selected the high temperature furnaces. I'm thinking maybe we'll do some sort of array with those. I feel horrible. Um, yeah. So that sort of blew up in my face a little bit. But that's all right. We'll keep going. We can refill this. And hopefully that presser will keep going. We got a lot a lot to go on that one still. We also opened it, opened a reward bag and we got uh five uh, potion flasks, which uh I don't know, kind of stinks. But uh, anyway, let me go over what I was saying real quick. Feel the power brings us to the end of the learning to skyblock chain with one little wing left undone, which is the nether wing. I think we may finish exploring that this episode, guys. I'm not excited about it, uh, to say the least. But uh, oh, I thought we had... Shoot. I thought we had another heart, another half to do that. I guess we don't. Ugh. All right, well, let's dump some of this stuff off. What can we put in here? That, 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 those. Uh, soybeans need to go upstairs. We'll throw those in there. That needs to go upstairs. Push a flask. We have two of them. Oh, flight. Did I take that out of there? I must have taken that out of there. Uh, regen. And we'll throw that up there for now. We're going to take the buckets. We got some more stuff to drop. Oh, oh, look at this little sneaky bugger. Where did you come from? Serious mob issues. Why don't you guys tap me on the shoulder or something, please? <laughs> Give me a warning. That guy came out of nowhere. All right, let's put that in there. And um, while the uh, tofu is a brewing up here, I say we go into the nether, guys. What do you say? Let's do it. I did a little bit of scouting, so... We should be a little bit more prepared. I've done a well, a little scouting and a little building to sort of make our journey a little bit easier. I also want to not lose this stuff since I need it for the quest that we're trying to complete. And let's throw the quest book in here because I hate losing the quest book. All right, so let's go into the nether, guys. We're going to find a blaze. We're going to slay it, and we're going to return victorious. We've got 96% energy in our jetpack, and you know what I want to do? I actually want to take an ender pearl just to be safe if uh, things get a little hairy. Fire resistance, regen. All right, let's do it, guys. I'm nervous. All right, we are in the nether. Things have been uh, quarantined, if not, if lack for a better ter term. I've uh, saved myself from the evil down below. They've actually all gone back into nether rack. Uh, I also built this semi-protection. I need to do a little bit more work with the cobble, but that's not important now. What's important now is right at the end of this little walkway that we dug out. We're going to go for a little flight here. And straight ahead, guys. You can see the beginnings of it right there, I think. That's right. Another fortress. It's really close. And we are going to find ourselves ablaze, and we are going to slay it. And then we're going to go home victorious. One of those spiders is chasing us. <laughs> Damn it. All right. Um, how do these work? Regen. Let's do the fire resistance. Okay. I don't want to do the regen. You know what? Let's do the regen. All right. And we've got seven minutes of regen. There should be a spawner, right? Yep. Spawn. Come on. Come on. Spawn. Did we get it? We did it. 
Yay! Hooray! Hold on. All right, guys. There it is. There's our blaze rod. We are victorious, but we are not leaving yet. We're not going to waste these potions. Let's take out a couple more of these guys. Actually, what I like to do is get a little... Oh, he spawned. Um, this sword is actually really badass, so let's try to take advantage. Let's trap these guys, actually. Blaze spawners are awesome for XP. And blaze rods are awesome as fuel. So if we can sort of take advantage of this situation. I wasn't really planning on doing this, but... Oh, 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 they're serious this time. They don't know how serious I am, though. Take that, take that, take that. <laughs> oh, oh, look, got another one over here. I'm immune, suckers. All right. Uh, I am hungry, though. That's what this mod pack should have. There should be a potion that it rewards you um, and you don't get hungry whenever you use it. That is a good note for the mod makers. You guys take note of that. All right. So actually, you know what? I am going to take two. I only got two? That's absurd. We slayed easily six of these guys. And yes, it was slaying. Um... You know what? We're going to do a little bit more work. Let's clear out this bottom road. Give them a little bit more spawn. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's fine. A little bit more spawning space. Oh, you know what I just saw out there? I saw a uh, blaze rod outside. Let's go grab that. Oh, you... Come here. Come here. And you. And wherever... You, the other guy would. There it is. There's one right there. See it? And... Last one. Now they don't want me to leave. But uh, too late, guys. I am heading back. So, you know what, guys? This will be an adventure for a later date. I just want to peek and see what's down here. No. Here. Fuse wood trees. Those are super cool. Um, wow, this is one of the coolest freaking nether fortresses I've ever been in. It's massive. Uh, Alright, so yeah. I'm going to head back. I will see you guys back at base in one second. Alright guys, we're back and we've got our spoils, our three blaze rods. And um, we actually need our quest book, dang it. <laughs> I want to complete this one with you guys, and then we're probably going to call it an episode. That tofu is uh, still moving along. We got six here. We got a good bit, but we don't have enough yet. So uh, we we'll probably have to, or you know what? I'll probably just bang that one out outside of recording. And uh, since you guys get the gist of how to go ahead and complete that one, we must go deeper. We need an auto brewer. All right. Let's see what we need. Auto brewer. Oh, brew. Auto. <laughs> Auto brewer. Here we go. Uh, we need a lot of stuff. All right. We need one of these. Can I make one? Here we go. We need two of those. We need smooth stone. Of course, we need smooth stone. There we go. That should be enough. I think fluid duct. Do we need fluid duct? Which we have two here. One, two, one. Uh, we need two of those. <laughs> this is kind of tedious, but it's also really awesome. If you think about it, this interface, whoever made this is a genius. Um, we need one more of these. We need one of these fellas. We're going to use, actually, I think, yeah, you can do it with aluminum. We need a brewing stand. 
voila. And oh, we need one more plastic sheet. Okay. Um wait, auto brewer. This this. There we go. Okay. I knew I knew we had it in there. And there it is, guys. Let's check out the quest book. 100% complete. We get some potions, and we're going to take the second bag. And that leaves us with one more in learning to skywalk. Never again. Uh, I believe we have a creepy doll as a reward, an angry doll. We'll figure that out later. Let's check out our quest reward. Conveyor belts that we don't need. Super. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, hey, that's going to do it for this episode. I want to thank everybody for your support. Coming over, checking out the channel. Uh, if you like it, we've got plenty more agrarian skies coming up in the future. Uh, I also plan on, uh, if you guys can keep this quiet, I've got a secret. We are uh, we're getting ready to launch our, uh, our vanilla Minecraft series, guys. So... Why don't you swing by the channel? It's going to be fun, all right? This has been Scrotitis Plays Agrarian Skies, and I will see you guys all in the next episode. Bye-bye.